Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Tuesday evening devotion. I hope that we are all excited to experience the presence of God today and also to hear from Him. And I also hope that we can share this uh, Facebook uh, stream to our Facebook wall and even to our group chat sa mga friends natin, sa mga family members natin, so that they can also hear from God. But before we start, let's all pray. Lord, thank you, God, for today, Lord. Thank you for another opportunity to experience your presence, Lord God, and to hear from you. And Lord, I pray that as we worship you today, God, I, I hope and I pray that you will just open our hearts to receive your word and to be refreshed tonight. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Come on, church, let's worship God today.
God, truly you are the great God over our lives. Thank you, God, because the God that we are worshiping is truly a great God. And Lord, I pray that we will not just this, uh, hindi lang namin to declare, Lord God, over our mouths, Lord God, but we will just be in faith, Lord God, that you are really great over our lives, Lord God. Whatever circumstances we are facing, Lord God, I pray that we will always go back to who you are, Lord God, that you are great, Lord, that you are so big, Lord God. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Again, good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Tuesday evening devotion. My name is April Carido, and I'm one of your campus missionaries here in Victory, Quezon Avenue. Before we proceed, uh, sa word ni Lord, may gusto lang ako itanong sa ating lahat. And you can answer this in our comment section. Have you ever felt limited? Na experience mo na ba na yung feeling mo wala kang power over things, yung wala kang control sa mga bagay-bagay. Or sometimes you feel like you have limited resources. You lack in providing for your family. Or alam mo yon yung kapag ka bayaran na ng mga bills or kapag ka sweldo mo na. Alam mo yung parang dumadaan lang yung pera sa iyo. 'Di ba mas mataas pa kasi yung monthly bills mo kaysa dun sa kinikita mo on a monthly basis. And I know marami nakaka-relate dito. O kaya naman as a young professional, you did your best to resolve the issues in your companies or yung task na binigay sa iyo pero hindi mo pa rin talaga ma-resolve because you have limited knowledge. O kaya naman, binigay mo naman yung best mo, but you feel or you felt like insufficient pa din yung mga skills and knowledge na uh, meron ka. Or hindi mo lang talaga alam paano siya i-troubleshoot. You, are, you have limitations. And as a students naman, have you ever felt like kulang yung 24 hours mo to do your task? Diba? Yung parang feeling mo or napapapray ka na kay Lord na Lord, sana 30 hours na lang per day para matapos ko yung mga projects, diba? matapos ko yung 
mga pinapagawa ng parents mo, ng mga uh, gawaing bahay, tapos pagsasabayin mo pa yung sa schoolworks mo, di ba? Parang feeling mo kulang yung oras mo. O kaya naman, feeling mo, um, parang konti pa lang yung karanasan mo sa buhay, di ba? Feeling mo, limited lang yung mga experiences mo in life. But you know what? In contrary, I remember a lot of times I felt this way. That I feel like I have no limits. Alam mo yun, yung feeling magaling, yung parang akala mo wala kang limitasyon, yung dahil nga may tendency ako na pag may bagay na hindi ako alam, aaralin ko talaga siya para matutunan ko. Diba? Kaya nga niloloko ako ng mga friends ko na all-knowing daw ako eh. Kasi nga, laging ganun yung nangyayari. Parang lahat na lang alam ko. But you know what? Still, I have limitations. Kahit na feeling ko, alam ko na lahat ng mga bagay-bagay. May limitasyon pa din ako. And you know what? Kung ano yung na-create sa akin nun, na I was reminded that as a human being, kailangan natin magtiwala kay God because if we feel like we are, no, we don't have limitation, therefore, we don't trust God. But today, as we talk about God as being infinite God, I hope that we can be reminded that in our limitation, we can trust and know that we have an infinite God. Amen? And I want to encourage all of us with this verse found in Colossians 1.17. And it says here, And He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. To give you a quick background, centuries ago, after Paul, there was a dangerous teacher, pero very popular siya, named Arius. And si Arius, he is actually claiming that Jesus was not truly God. Na there were times though that Jesus didn't exist. But si Paul, he rightfully understood and insisted that Jesus is before all things because He Himself is the beginning. Diba? And as we know that the, in the Gospel of John, it says in verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 1, that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. And the, sorry, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Diba? We can see here that even before creation, nandun na si Jesus. And as we uh, can observe in this verse in Colossians 1.17, we can actually two, I we can actually see two phrases here, which is before all things, and you all things hold together. But let us focus on the praise before all things. And just like uh, what the Gospel of John said, that tiba in the beginning nanduna hagad si Jesus, and Jesus was with God long before the creation. Through Jesus, all things were made. And without Him, nothing was made that has been made. For Him, all things, the head above all. And He is the Alpha and Omega. We believe that, that He is the beginning and the end. And He is actually not bound in time and space because we all know that He will rule forever. And knowing all of this, that God is the one, or uh, God was, uh, uh, ano siya, nandun na siya before the creation, di ba? Knowing all of this, we can be sure that in moments we feel limited, we can trust that God, or we can trust that we have an infinite God. Whenever we feel like um, we are lacking with our finances, Whenever we feel like, Lord, kulang tong sweldo ko for our monthly bills, maumutang na naman ako. Diba? Lord, ano na bang gagawin ko? Hindi naman pwedeng hindi kumain ng tatlong beses sa isang araw. Paano na yung family ko? I hope that we will be reminded that we have an infinite God. Si Lord, wala siyang limit on how He will bless you. I hope that we will be reminded that the God that we are serving is infinite. He is our great provider. And He is willing and able to bless you. 
your entire household. You just need to trust Him. And I hope that as we, alam mo yun, as we look doon sa mga paychecks natin, di ba, na kahit parang Lord, hindi nagbabangga. But I hope that we will be in faith that si God, He is uh, in control over our finances. That God is bigger than our financial problems. Na si God, kahit na uh, yung feeling natin, parang Lord, hindi ko naman nararamdaman yung provision mo. I hope that we can, that we will trust an infinite God. No, wala siyang limitasyon on how we can bless us. And if there were times that we feel lost, na mo yun, feeling natin wala na tayong purpose, feeling natin wala nang patutungan yung buhay natin because of what's happening around us, I hope that we will be reminded that we have an infinite God. And that infinite God has the best plans for you. Grabe, di ba? Grabe yung ganong feeling na grabe yung infinite God. Meron siyang best plans for you. Hindi lang simple yung plano. But He has the best plans for you and for me. I hope that we will always be reminded of God. Na walang limitasyon. Hindi na babase doon sa mga kakayanan mo or hindi na babase doon sa mga uh, skills na meron ka or doon sa kung anong meron ka ngayon. Yung plano ni Lord sa iyo. His way, His plans is way better than your plans. You just have to trust God. That the God that we are trusting is an infinite God. And I hope and I pray that as we look back, or I hope and I pray that as we look to our infin- infinite God, let us be reminded that He is both infinite and personal God. He is both infinite and personal God. Sobrang personal ni Lord sa ating lahat. That while He is without limits, He is also intimately concerned with all of us, His creation. I hope that we will remind it of that, that this is the God whom we love and we serve. Let's pray. Lord, thank you God for your word. Thank you, God, for reminding us, Lord, that the one who we are trusting is an infinite God. The one who we are trusting has no limit. And Lord, I just pray that you are the one who will give us the grace, Lord, to really fully uh, give our trust in you, Lord. Na I pray that as we look back sa mga, or as we look with our problems, Lord God, Saglit lang namin yung titignan, Lord God. Saglit lang namin iindahin yung problema namin. But we will always look back to you, Lord God. Ikaw kagad yung titignan namin, Lord God, that you have uh, better plans for us, Lord God. That you are bigger than our problems, Lord God. You are bigger than the things that we are facing right, right now, Lord God. And that you are a personal God, Lord. That you are mindful of every one of us. That you are mindful, Lord God, even in the little things that we are worrying, Lord. We just need to fully trust in you, Lord. We thank you, God, and we're just excited, Lord God, that as we, um, as we go through this week, Father, I pray that we will have that faith, Lord, that you are in control over our lives, Lord. You are in control over all aspects of our lives. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, church. Let's worship God.
believe. Shout it out. Mighty in power, author of wisdom, you're better than the Thank you for joining our Tuesday evening devotion. Receive the Lord's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord leap up His countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Thank you again and see you next week.